Hey everyone, Into Weapons back again with you. Wanted to do a quick video on a bayonet that I picked up. Uh, this one is a used Yugoslavian AK-47 bayonet that I got from Sportsman's Guide online. Uh, ran $18 plus shipping and handling unless you buy some other things and use a coupon. Uh, so a very reasonable price. I guess these are becoming harder to find. Uh, they did say on the, on the website that they ran into a batch of them and uh, now they're able to you know go ahead and sell a few of them off. So uh, if you are interested in getting one, I would um, uh, recommend jumping out there and grabbing one as soon as possible. As you can see, it comes wrapped in a bag and uh, unfortunately the, the bayonet is completely covered in cosmoline as you can see. So I'll have to go ahead and remove that and what I plan on doing is maybe doing that off camera. Planning on using some mineral spirits to get this off. I'm hoping that'll be the easiest way of doing it. Going back and then uh, oiling up the blade and uh, using some air to blow out the, the moisture out of the rest of the handle, etc. Uh, but uh, we'll go ahead and take a look here. Pull the scabbard off. And Jesus, they is just sticking all over it with this Cosmoline. But as you can see, it's got a pretty decent blade on there. It's a pretty decent size, actually. I'll pull out my tape measure and give you an idea of how long it is. It is actually... Uh, right under six inches the blade itself it's got a serrated edge here which is real nice a lot of people uh, don't use these just for AK-47 bayonets I've been told that a lot of people have been using these as survival knives they're very well built uh, quality pieces um, and the scabbard or the knife itself has a, a blade or a, a wire cutter in there as well uh, so they're, they're pretty useful little knives uh, like I said, I don't have an AK-47 that uh, will accept a bayonet, unfortunately, but, you know, I plan on just doing a little bit more collecting of these knives and bayonets, and, um, you know, it's a real easy way, a cheap way to, to add in another collection, and kind of a fun thing to do. You know, these, these blades are getting harder to find, so, you know, 10, 15, 20 years down the line, heck, it might be worth a little bit more extra money. So, what I'm going to do, like I said, is go ahead and get the Cosmoline off this, guys, and then we'll give you a little bit of a closer look at it once she's nice and cleaned up. All right, guys, so we got uh, the Cosmoline off. What I did is dipped it in mineral spirits, then I rinsed it with water. Just kind of the mineral spirits really just made it kind of pliable and able to be rinsed off. After I rinsed it with water, I went back and I just saturated this with some WD-40 uh, to lubricate it and make sure that all the water was uh, removed off it. Uh, lubricate it up real well, make sure I don't have any corrosion. After I uh, went ahead and did that, I used a REM oil wipe and just kind of wiped it down, gave it a nice kind of a sheen. Um, then I went back and I did find a little bit of rust here on the, the, the handle of the blade. I used a um, super black uh, Birchwood Casey flat black instant touch up pen to go ahead and cover up all the areas here after I used a brass brush to kind of get all the rust off it. That will go ahead and protect the metal surfaces from, uh, you know, for further corrosion on this, this blade handle. Uh, other than that, the, the blade turned out really nice. It's got a really nice finish to it. Uh, there isn't many marks or um, dings or dents or anything like that. So for being a used knife, uh, it's in really good shape. Uh, the holster itself or the blade scabbard is really good itself. Uh, there isn't uh, any kind of dings or chips or scratches in this as well. The numbers do match here. It says 45045 on the, the scabbard, and then it does have on here 45045 as well on the knife. So they are matching numbers. I don't know if they are all matching numbers when you buy them, but fortunately this one is. But overall, really nice knife, guys. I'm really pleased with it. It came out well. It'll add nice to my collection here. This will be kind of the first one in the collection, uh, minus a, a real cheap huge knife that I have I bought years ago at some sort of rummage sale so uh, this is uh, kind of the start of the, the beginning of the, the knife collection so uh, that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions feel free to let me know otherwise I appreciate you watching until next time take it easy